Okay, so today we'll be learning about systems of linear and quadratic equations. The steps are, number one, solve for one variable, number two, substitute equation for variable, and number three, solve again. This is how we use those steps to solve the equations. We have two equations, 2x plus y equals 8, and 3y plus 6x, or 3y equals 6x. First, you have to get one of the variables and one of the equations by itself. So we're using the second equation and solving for y. To solve for y, first divide by 3. That would equal y equals 2x. Then, since we have the value for y in terms of x, we can plug the y back into the other equation and solve. Now, since you have the value of x, you can plug that back into the other equation and solve for y. So y equals 4. To prove that this is correct, solve or plug back in the x and y values into one of the equations and solve. Since 4 plus 4 equals 8, we know that these equations are equal. Here we have an example of a quadratic equation and a linear equation. Since they're both equal to y, the equations also equal each other. So here we have it all in terms of x. We can find like terms to combine. So here's one that it's squared, two that have x's, and two that are just numbers. Add and subtract to combine like terms. Here we have a quadratic equation after combining all terms set equal to zero, and this we can factor. The factors are x minus 2 and x plus 1. So the solutions are x equals 2 and x equals negative 1. We found two x's, so we need to find two y's. Since the equations are equal to each other, it doesn't matter into which one you plug the x's to find each corresponding y. Since there are two x's, we need two different equations to solve. One of the y's equals 4, and the other equals negative 5. So the ordered paired solutions of the two equations are 1, 4, and negative 2, negative 5. The solutions are also where the graphs of the two equations intersect. So here we have negative 2, 5, and here we have 1, 4. Okay, so next we're going to teach you how to solve with a calculator. Okay, so first on your calculator, you click Menu, then Algebra 3, then Solve Systems of Equations, which is number 7, and Solve Systems of Equations, number 1. Okay, and then so it will come up with a thing that looks a little bit like this on your calculator. And then you're going to plug in right here the number of equations and the variables. So then it's going to come up with this, and you're going to plug in the equations right here, in here, and then press the solve command, and it will give you something a little like this. And then, and they say them in the order in which they're paired, so negative 9 and 144, and 8 and negative 60. And that's the end. Thanks for watching, and good luck.